हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एल यू एस चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो आई हैव कवर्ड ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनिक क्वेश्चन दैट वर आस्क इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन सी यू सेट पेपर ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन आर रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर अपकमिंग पेपर सो वॉच इट केयरफुली क्वेश्चन वन इज द मेजर प्रोडक्ट इन द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन शोन बिलो इज यू हैव बीन गिवन अ प्राइमरी अमीन which you have to react with methyl iodide which is given in excess and silver oxide and heat so this reaction is hoffman elimination reaction here this methyl iodide what this methyl iodide will do it will convert this primary amine to quaternary ammonia and then that will act as a good leaving group i will show you the mechanism you have been given the primary amine this will react with excess of methyl iodide what this methyl iodide will do it will convert this primary amine into tertiary into quaternary ammonia and because here the bonds of nitrogen exist so plus charge will come on nitrogen and with that you will get 2hi and i negative as a counter ion now this quaternary ammonia will react with silver oxide so when you will react this with silver oxide it will precipitate extra iodide ions all the i negative ions will be precipitated and they, it will leave behind oh negative so i'll draw it here till has the plus sign iodide will be precipitated out as agi and you will get two oh negative ions now what will happen these oh negative ions i'll write it here this oh negative ion will attack the hydrogen present here see one hydrogen is this one is this and one is this no so this will attack the hydrogen the hydrogen will leave its electron and from here as quaternary ammonia is a good leaving group it will leave so you will get you will get a double bond here plus you will get you will get this product alkene plus you will get and you will get water now the question can be like why these hydrogens are attacked not these because you have hydrogen here also you have hydrogen here also so you have to remember that least substituted alkene is formed so least substituted alkene can only be formed if you remove these hydrogen and these hydrogens are most accessible hydrogen attached so you have to remember that least substituted alkene is formed and this is known as hoffman product so this is what we call as hoffman elimination so if we will look at the options so option number c is correct here it will be formed question number 2 is the reaction shown below is known as and the reaction is given so which name reaction is this you have to tell this that which name reaction is this so the options provided to you are sandmeier reaction riemer timmen reaction friedel crafts reaction and gatemann reaction so we know this is a gatemann reaction it is also known as gatemann formylation reaction Here, what happens that aromatic compounds are formylated. 
by a mixture of hydrogen cyanide and hydrogen chloride in the presence of Lewis acid such as AlCl3 so you will get the product so this is a name reaction ketamine reaction question number three the correct combination of P and Q for the transformation shown below is so you can see the question on the screen they have not given you the reactant and the reagents and they have just given you the product and four options are provided to you and you have to select one of them so first we'll look at option number A it is given a mite here and they have reacted it with Li, ALH4, heat and water so you should remember that if we react a mite if you react any amide with lithium aluminum hydride heat and water what will happen you will get amine and the carbon number will remain the same means you will get this product so here the number of carbon is not changing so if you will look at the option this is this option is not right because see here the number of carbon is less one carbon less in the product so which reaction is going to be look at option C so in option C a mite is given and if you treat a mite with bromine in aqueous sodium hydroxide so degradation of amide takes place and you get a primary amine and in the product there will be one carbon less so and this reaction is known as Hoffman bromamide reaction this is a name reaction Hoffman bromamide reaction so this is going to give you the product option C is correct here let's move on to the next question the next question asked is the mechanism of the reaction shown below is believed to involve a dash intermediate the reaction is given to you and the options are carbocation, carboanion, free radical and carbene so if you will look at this reaction this reaction is Hunsteker reaction you have been provided Hans Zika reaction and Hans Zika reaction intermediate is a free radical so first you, you have to recognize which name reaction is this so this is a Hans Zika reaction and in Hans Zika reaction the intermediate is free radical so option C is correct let's move on to the next question the most appropriate combination P and Q in the reaction given below would be and you have been provided the reaction in which the reactant and the reagents are you have to find these and the product is given so first of all you should know that see KOH is provided here either with either alcoholic KOH is provided or aqueous KOH is provided so you should know the function of these first so if you will use KOH aqueous what this will do it will convert alkene to alcohol and if you will use KOH alcoholic what this will do it will convert alcohol to alkene so first look that in the question alkene is being formed so alkene is being formed this means we have to use KOH alcoholic this means second and fourth option is wrong so you have to select between option A and option C now you know that KOH is a strong base and strong base 
will react via E2 elimination. So it will react uh, via E2 elimination. So the elimination is going to be anti periplanar. So you have to look at the re reactants. So see, I will make it for you. So Br is present here. So if the reaction is going to be peri anti periplanar, this means Br and H. H is going to be eliminated with Br. So they have to be, H is supposed to be like this. So if H is out of the plane, on wedge, on sorry, on dash, H is going to be on dash. So ME is going to be on wedge. So this and this, they will eliminate and you will get the final product. So if you will look at the options, see here ME, ME and BR they have to be in the same plane so this is not the correct option option C is the correct option so you have to remember that KOH is a strong base so it will eliminate via E2 elimination and the groups that are going to be eliminated should be anti periplanar so H and BR they should be anti periplanar Question number 6, the correct sequence of reagents to bring about the transformation given below would be, so you have been given the reaction and provided with 4 options. So how will you get this product? So let's try for the first one, see, we have I will write it like this CHO and we have to react it with Grignard reagent it is negative this is plus this is negative this is plus so how will they react this ME will react here and it will attack here so you will get Okay, now this will react first, let it react with H2O plus and you will get Okay, now second thing that they have given you is chromium oxide. Now what chromium oxide do is, it will convert the alcohol into aldehyde so by reacting with chromium oxide you will get this product and now you have to react this with this reagent what is this this is Wittig reaction no if you this is elites are used for Wittig reactions so we will react it with this so It will react with Is this clear? See this this phosphorus is going to bond with the oxygen atom and this CH this is here one bond between them will be broken and they, this will react with this carbon atom now what will happen and you will get the final product
So this is going to be your final product. And if we look this in the options, now this is the product given to you. See, this is only the product given to you. So M is here, then double bond, then C, then C O O E T. So option A is correct here. So for organic portion of the paper, revise the name reactions and the reagents. This will, this will help you in the paper. So this is all for today's video. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.